Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the borders and shading of a page in Windows Word. So for that, we'll just open the Windows Word. So just go with the run and type win word and press enter so that the word will be open and just select the blank document. And here we'll go with the borders and shading. So here you can observe in the menu bar, you can observe the design. So in the design, on the rightmost corner, you will see the option called page border, right? So you can select this page border. So the name itself indicates we can give the borders for the pages. Okay, so that borders can be customized. That means based upon our requirements, we can select the border. And here the border can be done for a page or a particular text. Okay, you can observe here the borders and shading options. So you are having three menus, three tabs. One is a border, another one is a page border, and another one is a shading. So coming to the first one, that is a border. So this can be done for a paragraph or a text. So you can you can see here, right? So apply to the paragraph. Okay, if you see the page border, you can see apply to whole document or this section or the first page only or all except the first page. So if, if you are uh, writing any documentation, so the page border should be there from the second page onwards. So that means after the contents page onwards. So and that purpose, we can go with this option, this section, all except the first page. The first page will be uh, similar with the certificate, like your name, your college name, your guide, and all these things will be there. And from the next page onwards, we have to include the page border. So you can select this one. So if you are having, if your documentation is having around 10 pages, so from the second page onwards, the border will be applied. And see coming to the left uh, coming to the borders first we'll see this border so this border can be applied for particular paragraph okay see first we'll write some content here i will write some content so they have given some text okay youtube channel and i have selected and i will increase the font size so go to the home and you can increase you can give the uh, formatting options so i'll give some formatting options so bold i will give and now i just want to apply the border right so go with this border and you can observe here so go to the borders so here three tabs the first tab we have to go with the first tab so for the first tab itself we are having this apply to paragraph and by default it will be none the selected will be none so you can observe the settings menu so that is none that means no border will be applied and if you select the second one box then you can observe the preview here you can observe the preview so if you click box and okay you'll get a box right you'll get a box and then and go to the design and go to the border and go to the box and here you can uh, select the style of the border so this is a solid okay this is a solid line and this is a dotted line this is a dashed line this is a dash spaced line and this is a dash dot line so you can observe there are a lot of borders applied here so you can select one among these borders so you can also select this wave border also so select this wave so preview you can observe it in a preview and just click on ok sorry so border go to the border and uh, just uh, go with the borders here so you can go with the wave so just select ok so that you can observe the border is so, so uh, actually this was selected okay now you can observe here so there is a wave border and if you do if you want to change it see we can change the color so we can fix the color of that particular border you can uh, select your own border color and just click on ok and the border color will be changed and once again if you want to change the thickness that means the width of that particular border you can you can observe here width so for this style there's only one width and if you go with the straight line solid line you can observe the width see this is the width okay right based upon the style the width will be changed so if you go with the dotted one so there is a lot of things okay you select this one and click on okay so this is a dot dotted border and similarly 
you can observe a lot of styles will be there you can select one among these styles and just select the color select the width and click on ok and this one is a shadow the third one is a shadow so you can apply the shadow and click on ok so that the some sort of shadow some sort of difference is appeared right so this is for shadow option so the content will be displayed in terms of shadow itself okay and uh, see here you can observe the shadow if the width is increased automatically you can observe the shadow right so and next one is a 3d so the appearance will be in the form of 3d you can observe it's, it will be somewhat of uh, is a 3d option and a customized option the customized option means you can select only one way okay oh, sorry you go to the uh, customized and you can select the uh, border on which you need required so if you want to get the top border you, you can if you want to get the top border only you can select this one so that only top border will be there and if you want to get uh, the bottom border top and bottom if you can observe here this is the top and bottom so apply so this is the top and bottom border and if you need only the left and right borders so you just go with the borders and click on these two and deselect the top and bottom borders so that you will get like this okay so these are the options these are the options you can select this is the top border bottom border uh, left border and right border so you can select one among these things and uh, you can directly uh, click on ok automatically that will be applied here so this is all about our uh, border that means a section border okay the first tab of the border and sh shadow okay shading border and shading so the settings and you need to select the style you need to select the color you need to select the width and also you, can, you need to select the uh, borders that means whether you need you require all the four borders or if you require only left border or right border or top border or the bottom border right so that uh, also you can fix the width okay so you can change the, the difference uh, you can change the difference and you can apply right so like that we can have a lot of options here this is all about our section border right next we'll go with the page border we'll go with the page border right so you can observe here the page border this is a none so there is a no border here right and coming to the box border so you can select the style so that means the border will be applied to complete page here you need to select to which the border should be applied that is for whole document or for this particular section or the first page or all the all the pages except the first page so you need to select this one so here i am having only single page so i am selecting the whole document and i need to select the style so i will go with the style the triple line and color automatic so i will go with the select a brown okay and width you need to select the width you can select the width and click on okay so automatically the border will be applied here it's a triple line border so you can observe here the complete page we are getting the border and also we can have the art so there are some clip art will be there so if you select the clip art and that will be arranged as a border so if you if you observe here so star so you select the star so that the border will be of star so you can observe here the border will be of star right and similarly there are a lot of uh, uh, i mean borders apply applicable here so you can select any one so you can select this one so the border will be like this and uh, there are a lot of options here so you can select among these borders and you can fix the border okay see you can fix the border and similarly the color we can go with the color alternate color, uh, different colors will be available so you can select the color and similar to our section border we can apply here and apart from this one uh, we are having additionally the art so we can uh, border the page with the given art so you can adjust the width also you can uh, decrease the width or you can increase the width so that so you can you can go with your convenient right and coming to the next shadow the, so that is uh, somewhat shadow will be appeared right and uh, see somewhat shadow will be appeared see somewhat shadow so there is a light, slight difference will be there and uh, uh, see this is the shadow okay you can observe here the shadow is appeared so next one is a 3d so this is also similar so some sort of 3d option will be applicable right 
and then customize so you can also select here the top right left most and all these things so you have selected only the left and right borders so if you go with the top and bottom borders so like that it will be getting so like this you can arrange the borders we can set the borders with your own requirement okay you can also have the different arts for border right so first you need to select the style and then you can select the color then you can select the width and then if if uh, required you can go with the art or directly you can uh, click on the okay so this is all about our page border right the next is shading purpose shading so what is the shading here see you can apply it so you can apply the color for shading okay you can apply color for shading so i will change the border here so that uh, yeah i will keep the stars right now now you can observe here uh, shading by default there will be no color so you can select the color to shade the complete page and uh, say i'll go with the green color uh, and see style is clear solid color so if you click on okay the complete content will be of that particular color right so if you go with the some sort of change so you can ob observe here right you can observe here so there is a shading so how much shading it you, you required so 40% 60% 70% like that we have to change the shading okay and i will show you so i will take the new one and i will show you right so don't show and see so here we will see design page border and box type border and i will go with the star okay and then go to the border and go to the shading go with the red color okay clear uh, red color okay so you will get the red color here see now you can apply the shading and if it is solid automatically black color will be appeared and you can give the shading percentage so i, re I required 40 percent of the sh shading and i will go with the color yellow so you can ob observe some yellow color with a 40 percent shading and similarly you can select some 30 percent of shading so 30 percent of shading okay and similarly you can go with the different different options different percentage we are having so horizontal shading so this is a horizontal shading and there is a vertical shading and all these are options so how our uh, section should be look like right so the diagonal shading so like this you can apply the shading option so page border and the borders right so apply to the paragraph so this shading will be applied only to the paragraph or the section okay so but this page border can be selected for complete page itself complete page itself right so you can select one among these one and uh, uh, you can apply so that the border will be changed right and also you can change the color of a page so if you select this one so you can observe here so the color of page will be changed to accordingly so you can you you, you can select the color which you require to change apply for the page right so this is how we can apply the page color and the page borders right hope you understood this one so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this page color and a page border so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much